Hi, so today I'll be showing you how I am personally transitioning Morgan to Raw. Potsy and friends already did this, but I'm going to be showing you my personal experience tra transitioning to Raw. So right now, for the this is week 7 by the way, I've been doing this for 7 weeks, but from here on out I'm going to be showing you how I'm getting her to eat the proteins and proteins I have her on right now are chicken, chicken heart, turkey, quail, and beef. Um, I'm starting with those because they're, those are the main proteins I'm going to be feeding her. I'm going to be feeding her um, beef liver and beef kidney and those, and those types of organs, but for now I just have her on those because I want to start off with those to see how she's going. She's pretty well with the quail, pretty, she loves chicken. She loves um, turkey, but she just isn't that great with uh, beef. I don't know why, but um, yeah. Oh, and also, I do blend my, my beef and my chicken heart and everything. You gotta blend it really, really good with water if you wanna get them started off. She doesn't like meat chunks. She'll only eat it, eat it if it's a liquid. I don't know why. But um, yeah, I'm gonna cut to the meats I have right now. I have chicken heart. Oh, and make sure you label them. I'm gonna be labeling them. Um, chicken heart. I think chicken, beef, quail, and turkey. Now you gotta keep these um, with a lid in a container in the fridge. You cannot leave them out so on not saran wrap because they will mold pretty fast, I have found out. And yeah, I'm gonna just cut to Morgan eating her food tomorrow. Hi, so today is day, I don't know, but it is tomorrow. And this is the day that I have decided I wanted to try and start her diet, just to see how it goes. Yeah. She doesn't like eating by herself. She always needs my finger to help her eat. I don't know why. She's not very fortunate at giving her um meats because she um sometimes in the day she eats it like she's like she loves it sometimes during the day she eats it like it's um like it's a bad rotting food or something and she only takes a couple of licks that's what she does with beef she hates beef and put some um eggshells in here actually and this is quail i just crushed up some eggshells because um well, she doesn't like bone. She doesn't really eat the bone, so yeah, I'm just gonna start her diet off with that. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Alright, so today she isn't feeling that good and she doesn't want to try anything. You're being such a picky thing. So I'm going to cut to the next time that I feed her. Show you guys that. Stop. Stop. Join that. And yeah. See you guys later. Bye. So today is feeding her chicken heart. Oh, she's taking it nicely. But yeah, her Monday, I started her diet, so I started with quail all day. Second day, you're supposed to do muscle meat and um, meat, meaty bones, but I didn't uh, have, um, she doesn't like the, beet, the, the muscle meat, 
so I kind of skipped that and also my muscle meat was kind of old and I don't have really any more muscle meat and so today is Wednesday and today is turkey and heart so I'm gonna just let her eat and then we're gonna get her more turkey and yeah that's been the week she's been taking it really good except for some of the days I've mostly gotten her off of the pellets still eats it sometimes yeah update you guys later when I feed her um combination of organs which will be on friday so today is uh it's friday and i'm feeding her chicken liver with chicken heart with beef kidney and i want to see if she'll eat it she's not happy about it i know that let's try chicken it looks like she's okay with it yeah, I know it's a little bit cold. Yeah, that's up a little bit. She's all up in it. This is, um, a lot of the organs are at the bottom, actually. So, I don't know if she'll eat the meat chunks. She's getting better with eating meat chunks, actually. We uh, fed her some... I fed her a quail with a bit of meat chunks at the bottom and put the meat chunks on my finger. They're big, with bone in it, and she ate it. She ate the bone, she ate everything. Now, she doesn't look too happy about this, but she, she doesn't... This is her breakfast, so... This will be the last time... I'll be showing Morgan unless you guys want me to um, show you guys Morgan going to the vet because we have an appointment for her on Wednesday. Don't put, just a reminder, um, I did uh, something on uh, Wednesday or Monday with the quail with eggshells don't do that unless it's grounded to a powder she started to have internal bleeding but it's healing now we're gonna take her to the vet on wednesday and yeah just don't do that unless you crush it up so small it's a powder and i will come back to me talking about morgan and her journey so far bye guys see you in the next all right, so that was the end of the video, but I do want to put a little bit of insight on why she had internal bleeding and how she's been going with, um, because I didn't record it, but Morgan ate the actual meat chunk of liver because when I blended it, it didn't fully quite blend in and there was still chunks at the bottom. So I just gave it to her on my hand and she ate the whole piece of liver and and um and kidney but um the thing with the internal bleeding is i didn't know until she had internal bleeding until she pooped uh that night she wasn't pooping all day i was getting really concerned and i kind of suspect it was the eggshell or something was going wrong but i didn't really know until she pooped and she was pooping black now that means the blood inside of the her stomach was the old blood inside her stomach. She was shitting that out and it was um, getting uh, processed inside of her stomach. That's why it was black and some of it was kind of a poopy texture, but it was mostly liquid. So I was really concerned. So we called the vet. They said we could... The, it was definitely the eggshells because we didn't crush it up tiny enough into a powder. And we're bringing her in also to get checked for her antibiotics and her, I think her upper respiratory infection. And yeah, so there's nothing that I could really record more of Morgan um, eating raw meat because she's already fully off of the pellets and she... Um, 
is she loves organs she loves everything we're feeding her we're gonna include lamb but um there's nothing really more i could show of her because yeah because that was the beginning week of her diet and yeah so if you guys have any information or anything i did wrong or any advice comment down below and go check out pot soon friends and see you guys later. Bye.